Hey everyone, Joel Hansner. Today we are at J&J's Barbecue and Burgers. There's a sign. And apparently they have the best tacos in town to do their Monster Migas Challenge. So apparently Amigas is like a breakfast dish. It is hash browns. I think it's maybe eggs. There's some kind of meat in there as well, covered in cheese. Then you have baked beans and a side of fries. So this is a seven pound challenge. Randy Sotichel just did this. Apparently this place also has the best healthy, can't read backwards, best healthy fried chicken and catfish in Texas. So, should be good. We're here with Miss Reyna, also my good friend, Mr. Blaine. Just going in, eat up migas. I think it's maybe a Mexican influence of some sort, so I like it. Let's eat some food. All right, so what's actually in this challenge? So it's basically like a big omelet with corn chips, then a big thing of refried beans, a like french fries thing, we also have tortillas, which you have to eat with the challenge, so we'll do that. Also some salsas here, some sauces. So yeah, it looks really good. They did weigh it out, which is really nice. So it's officially seven pounds. So, I'm excited. Ready to eat some migas? Yes. All right, so we do have one hour. I'm not gonna crank this, because I think it's gonna be very, very enjoyable. All right, so let's start with count five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat go. some migas. It's like, uh, there's a lot of cheese on this too, though. Ooh, a lot of cheese. That's good. Keep it on the guy. The corn chips actually softened up. I thought they were going to be crispy. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are in Austin eating some migas. So I've never had a migas before, but I guess some migas is a Mexican kind of breakfast food. Um, so basically the way I would describe it is it's an omelet with kind of like corn chips in it. Kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to like, have you ever had the bugles? <laughs> like corn chips? Um, like that's basically it. But it was super, super damn right delicious. Very, very delicious. Creamy salsa verde. Is it good? Try that one. Different. Hey, you're learning. Picking up the pockets with the video. So the Migas portion of the challenge, aka kind of like the omelette, um, weighed uh, five pounds, and then you had the one pound of the french fries and one pound of the refried beans. Again, as I mentioned uh, earlier, super, super cool that they weigh everything out, so it's very, very legit. Um, huge credit goes to uh, them for doing that. Um, within the, besides the eggs and the cheese, we also had a lot of like pico de gallo, so some really nice vegetables. Um, honestly, it was like a delicious omelette with like crispy bits and yeah. I like this a lot. I would just eat this casually. Maybe we can get seconds. Maybe. Ooh, there's so much cheese. Piles. I do believe that there was a record, um, actually, I think it was held by Molly, Molly Schuyler, um, I believe, not 100% sure. Um, they said some girl currently had the record and it was very, very fast. Um, they weren't sure the girl's name, but I'm just assuming it was Molly because they said it was done in just a couple minutes. Um, but besides that super delicious challenge, Randy Santel came and did this one and uh, he mentioned it was delicious and I definitely agree. Love the sauces as well. The uh, chili verde or the, you know, the green salsa, um, it was so it was really unique because it was, seemed very creamy. I'm not used to them really being creamy, but it was absolutely fantastic. Um, the flavors in the omelet themselves was fantastic. And then the other salsas, they had a hot, a hot salsa and a mild salsa. And both again were just excellently flavored. Like this is a meal that I would 10 out of 10 eat every single day. I wanted some Mexican food. This is definitely filling my void. It's actually really funny. He wants to just talk about crazy Mexican food. And here we are. And that was not a word of a lie. I very much love Mexican food. If you are familiar and have been watching the channel for a while, and if you're not, uh, now you know I love Mexican food. And this was just another uh, Mexican style of dish that I get to add to my repertoire of Mexican cuisines that I love. 
Um, like I would literally, I would love to make this again. I, I like, I might even make this at home. It was so dang good. Um, you know, and honestly the omelet was so good that like, I didn't really, I'm not the biggest cheese fan. Um, but it all just went really, really well. And again, those salsas, those sauces were absolutely fire. So I don't, I, anybody in the Austin area, I definitely recommend coming by. Um, JJ's here. And honestly, I would just try the Migas. The cool thing about this challenge too is only $20. In my opinion, very affordable because I would pay $20 for this as a normal size meal, let alone a seven pound meal. Just over five minutes in. Really, really good, delicious. I'm very much enjoying it. Like, seriously. This is great. Why well, I've never had this before. Would you have been stuck in Canada? That's actually a real answer. Very little Spanish or Mexican influence up there. With some of the challenges, Reina and I have like different uh, tastes on them or different opinions, but we both agreed that this one was absolutely delicious. Um, as we mentioned, they gave us a whole bunch of uh, tortillas to use for the uh, the wraps, the migas, um, which was like super cool. Like it was basically like breakfast burrito again and again or a breakfast wrap. Um, so yeah, we both agreed this was an absolutely delicious challenge. Um, to date, uh, this was definitely, I think, one of the tastiest challenges we had in or around Austin, maybe even the tastiest. Um, so very much enjoyed it. If you're ever in the area, like I said, go check it out. Um, but at that, everybody, we have one hour to complete this. I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hopefully you can get a win, which if we do, we get it for free, if not 20 bucks. So uh, let's see what happens. There's a very strong flavor in that spicy salsa. I'm not sure what this though. You gotta think on that. So about seven minutes in, I have refried beans and french fries left. Reina has just a little bit of the omelet left. Most of her fried or beans are gone and then some fries. Excuse me. Very delicious. Oops. Blaine loves refried beans, so. Uh, Leave no doubt. Ten minutes, thirty-eight seconds for myself. Absolutely delicious. I would eat that again and again. Seriously, I love that. Raina is doing really well herself. Just has, I don't know, like a seventh of the challenge left. So keep going, Raina. You're doing well. Everything's all mixed into one. A seventh. That's a good eye. Got a seventh. Yeah. A seventh. That's right. Great. All the sauces and stuff really adding some nice flavors. So let's tune in as Raina destroys the rest of this challenge.
So about 14 and a half minutes in, Raina's still going very strong. She only has like maybe two handfuls left. She's doing well. Doing good, Raina. Keep it up, girl. You gotta pull on 45 minutes to, to do that. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> I like that. You gotta be ready though. Uh, I'll keep you at boys here. 18, 18 and a half, I think, or something. 18.39. You're at 15.51. So you're at two and a half minutes. You're doing good, girl. Oh. And now, come on. Crank her in there. There you go, Seventeen forty-five. All right, y'all. So, just finish up. Congratulations, Rana. Thank you. Did well. Thank you. Did you like it? It was delicious. I really liked it. Like that was one of the. I really like this. Food. Yeah, salsa. This is one of the better challenges, like tasty challenges we had so far. I also really like that waffle one. I know you like that one too. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I did, and that. We both get up on the Wall of Fame for doing less than 20 minutes. That's about it. I'm ready to eat some more. Ready? Bye bye, yeah. So stay happy, healthy, healthy. Did I say you're right? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, everybody. Stay happy, healthy, healthy, hungry. Until next time, happy eating. I thought it was. All right, everybody, so I'm here at a place called 85 Degree Bakery, 85 Degree Celsius to be specific. Here are my good friend Blaine and Miss Raina. So Raina has been talking all freaking trip about these oh, yeah. Asian them. desserts or breads. So she's saying she's gonna buy them, apparently try them. But a second ago, she's saying a brioche is a dessert, but that's a bun. So uh, I'm gonna go into this with an open mind and let's try a bun from 85 Degree Bakery. So right now we have muffins. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Here's egg tarts, I've had those things before. You've had like this guy? I don't know, I've just had egg tarts before. There's a berry tart, there's breads. These just look like breads, are these just breads? That's an espresso bun. Berry multigrain, yeah. A marble taro. Look, brioche. This is not hamburger bun. No, that looks a little different. Yeah. We're gonna buy that. Yeah, really Coconut twist, milk tea buns, chocolate chip bowl. Oh, that looks better. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we're figuring out this. Okay, look, smell it. It's sweet. Kinda. Yeah, kind of sweet. You know, <laughs> Would like you, you want something? No, I'm good. Gonna... Really? Blaine has to try it. Blaine, no, try this. No, you gotta try the tiniest nibble. Right. Well, Blaine's not participating. <laughs> I'm good today. I'm only just gonna. Nice and soft. I mean, want to share a share half? Of yeah, I, I'm just gonna try a bite. Okay. All right. So the way I would describe this <laughs> brioche it smells like bread, <laughs> but it, but it is a little sweeter. I will say so. I was gonna cheers, but whatever. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nice and soft. Okay, so it's very soft. Mm. Kind of flaky. 
It is sweeter than like a brioche. Like a brioche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamburger. Hamburger. That'd be good actually, that hamburger. It's like a donut. So they literally had just described that as like sweet bread. Like that's it. Like Wonder Bread was sugar. <laughs> Raina didn't know what Wonder Bread was. I don't know what Wonder Bread is. Okay, Joel pick out this one. Joel pick out this coconut one. I really like coconut, so anything that said coconut, I was like, that sounds good. Do you like raisins? Sure. Right. It comes with raisins. So it's like coconut something? Coconut twist. Coconut twist. Looks flaky. Crumbly, whatever, coconutty. Okay. So it tastes like bread, but it's also sweet, and it has coconut in it. Okay. Makes sense. Not bad. But you see what I mean? Like, this isn't like really like the sweet is not like huge. It's like subtle. No, it's very mild. Yeah. Like, I would still consider it not a dessert item. Really? Yeah. Alright. He also picked up this one. This one's a coconut bowl. This looks a lot sweeter. This looks like actual like cake. We actually have some cake. Sure. Thanks. So it's like a roll, coconut yeah, like roll. Cream inside it's it. almost like a Swiss roll looking thing. Yeah. Again, honestly, surprisingly, not very sweet. No. Not saying that's a bad thing, but just like imagine the sweetness of like a Swiss roll or that kind of item, and divide it by four. All right. Here's the pork. Here's gonna be. I'm pretty sure Joel would like these. We got some cakes. I mean, everything's been pretty good so far. Okay. Again, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm one to. I was a little skeptical, but everything's been pretty good so far. Just like. I call it the flavors very mild. Mild sweetness, mild flavors. 85 degree bakery. Yes. Alright. Which one do I start with? Sure. So then we have some cakes. Yes. Strawberry cake. This looks a little bit more North, North American sweet. Look at it. Creamy and stuff. Oh, how does this work? You just pull it up? Oh. That works. Here's a do not eat sticker. I ate it, no, I'm just kidding. Wow, this looks good. Look at that. This is definitely more like craziness. All right, you gonna try it? Yeah. Take a thing first. Go for oh, the it's edge. Very soft. Mm. <laughs> This is just like oh precariously ah. resting on my hand. It's I gonna have... fall. Dang nabbit. Oh wow. Their cakes are soft. That's a lot sweeter. Soft, yeah. Their cakes are like desserts. Yeah, this is like a legit cake. Very sweet. Eat strawberry. Oh, that that's really good. Nice. I like it. Once more? I guess, I guess I'll just eat it. Yeah. Ready? This needs to be a TikTok or a Vine or a... <laughs> Alright, this was sweet tea if you want all at once. Yeah, you'd really be eating that all at once. Right, nice. Alright, this one is the one I like. The mango. Mm. The mango Very strawberry. The strawberry is almost like a... It's like a strawberry cereal, like a strawberry milk. That very kind of, kind of milky but fake strawberry flavor. Not oh, bad. All right, Raina. Do you like mango? Are you a big fan of mango? I like mango. Try this thingy thing. You can eat the raspberry. Really? And there's a, a definitely a distinct mango layer at the bottom. I think that's what that is. Sure. Orange layer of something. Or orangi is something. Orangi. Do people actually say that? No. Yeah, you never know. I wonder if that's surprise. Right. So it's less sweet. Very artificial mango flavor. 
but again, a lot of textures. I think that these desserts are more about like textures. So you have like the chewing, you have the mouth experience of a dessert, but not the sweetness and half the flavor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Neither would preview this strong. And the raspberry? That's good. Cool. Can I finish this one? Absolutely. Thank you. I love strong. Ooh. That raspberry. Very nice. Yeah, that was good. It wasn't bad. It was good, Raina. Good choices. Well How's done. that? Sure. Later, I'll take you to try some North American desserts. And we've actually been eating those all week. Yeah. So. I know what <laughs> North American desserts are. Excellent. So that was cool. So 85 degree bakery. Definitely a unique experience. But yeah, like it's like a Asian dessert. So it's just a little less sweet. We still get all these flavors, textures. Not bad. Awesome. So that, everybody, hope you enjoyed. Raina, thank you again for- You're welcome. I'm just happy you're not completely like, it's gross. No, 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 it's all good. You just have to know what you're getting yourself into. You have to know like what to expect. Yeah, so you've yeah. never been to a place like that? Uh, not exactly, no. But I've had, I've had like, I think bits and pieces of those items, but like never like, never just go in and be like, rah, rah, you know what I'm saying, Fair. so. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay happy out there, hungry. Happy, and of course, for you guys. Bye, guys.